Hi Celio, my name is Kristen and I'm a physical therapist. From the history you sent, you said that you had injured your shoulder weightlifting. You've also gone ahead and you've seen an orthopedist who has ruled out any rotator cuff involvement. And the only thing that the MRI report, upon what I had read about your MRI report, that it showed, the significant findings showed that there were some changes within the acromioclavicular joint, which is the joint right here. That is not uncommon for weight lifters to have, but it can remain painful. So a few things that I would like you to try that could help. The first thing to help that joint stiffen up and to prevent the, the strain part of it And I mean stiffen up a lot of times when you're doing a bench press, you get that end range pain that will overly strain that AC joint. So what is important that you do is you first protect the joint. The, some of the things that help is that you can tape directly over the joint to support it. There's also um, some various taping techniques, but even just taking athletic tape and taping right over the joint to add input to the joint that could help feel um, make the joint feel a little bit more protected but the most important thing you can do is to avoid any positions of strain the things that are going to hurt you are things out here things here end range out this direction so what it's important to do is to just stay shy of your pain not try to test it. What a lot of people do is it'll feel better for a few days so then they'll keep testing it which actually irritates the joint. So you want to really protect the joint for a good four to six weeks. You can still do some of your weightlifting, but what's very important is that you stay below your level of pain. The other thing that is very important when it comes to strengthening particularly the shoulder, shoulder is not to forget the whole shoulder girdle. And often what weightlifters do is they'll lift weights and get stronger here, but not necessarily in a good posture. So what I would like to show you is what I call scapular setting. So what you do for scapular setting is most of us have posture like this, and what's important is that we bring our posture here. So our scapula, which is this, your wing bone, actually sits down further on, on your back. So how I instruct people in the clinic is that what I would like you to do is just bring your shoulders up a little bit, back a little bit, and then down and rest them in that position. And as you just practice keeping your shoulder in this better position, your postural muscles here through your back are going to automatically strengthen. So then as you get stronger and you're able to hold this position, that's when you begin to start with lighter weights and you can start strengthening here. A lot of times what I see in the gym is that people will round their shoulders here and then do all their biceps and arm work in here. And it's very important that you bring your shoulder blades up, back, and down and set them in this better posture, which really takes a lot of the strain off all these shoulder muscles. So that's, what, that's your homework, is to practice this and to hold this improved posture for all your activities throughout your day. And then you're going to begin to add some, a weightlifting component to it. So while you hold your shoulder blades back and down, you can do your bicep curls in here. You can then do your flies out this direction. But again, see how my shoulder blade stays down versus coming up, up and forward. So it's that position that you're going to work on. Then you can do shoulder flexion in here. Then it will translate over that you'll do that improved posture here as you do your bench press again. So I hope that answers some question for you. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Be well.